Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Folklore. Last time we started uh, Chapter 3. I think it's Chapter 3. <laughs> and uh, we're trying to, or Dr. Lester apparently got murdered. And I guess his spirit is trying to find Herve. And Herve is already uh, like sunken down into this sea of forgottenness where where uh, people go when they are disappearing from people's memories I guess so uh, oblivion is attacking this place because this place in general is being forgotten and uh, soon it'll just be nothing it'll be erased by oblivion I guess Helen, I have good news. The Fairy Lord will be visiting this land. Oh, that's wonderful news. Thank you. I hope that my knowledge will be of use to you. I hope it will. It was popular amongst the An Anun? Anun? To keep Kusits <laughs> as pets. But those little ones are hard to catch. The best, uh, the best way to nab, I guess. Yeah. The best way to nab is to prob is probably with a trap. Okay. Cool. The folks living around the Forgotten Palace are guarding a treasure. If you chase them all out, one might just drop the treasure. Cool. The road this way forks between routes to the Forgotten Palace and to the Swamp of Oblivion. I don't really want to go there. Yee. The Undersea City is a netherworld that was once linked to the Fairy Realm, but it has been long forgotten, and now look at its sorry state. Looks pretty nice to me. Actually, look at all the neat little fish swimming around back there. Manta rays. Got a shark, maybe. Or just one enormous tuna. A dolphin? He has a dolphin. And like a school of fish that's just kind of evaporating. I don't know. This is a really beautiful place. I like it. And everything's all shiny. Like it's wet. <laughs> sort of. Bubbles are coming out. Wait, am I underwater? What's happening here? Here there is only the folklore in the Forgotten Palace. But even that is sinking into oblivion. You must hurry. I thought I was in a big air bubble, but I guess we're actually underwater. That's pretty neato. Fairy Lord, we are honored by your presence. Wow, so formal, jeez. It is time we spoke to you about our objectives. Dear Ellen, we seek the Netherworld Core. Is that one of the realms? Yes and no. It is a special place beyond the five realms. A place which can only be reached by those who have overcome their fears. Your journey to the Netherworld Core shall reveal your forgotten past. My past? But then why must you go there, Fairy Lord? The Netherworld Core is based upon the human subconscious. But 5,000 years ago, someone broke a law of the Netherworld. And a, a law which originated in the Netherworld Core. It is in our hands to correct that aberration. And this can be achieved in the Netherworld Core? That is correct. But it will depend upon your strength, Ellen. The Undersea City is your third Netherworld. First you must defeat the folklore in this world. Hmm. What aberration might that be, Fairy Lord? Hmm? Might you explain to me this?
Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> okay, here we go. First folk. And I forgot what I'm even using right now. Asrai? Asrai? I kind of like the battle music here. It's neato. Hey, can you stop stabbing me, please? Thank you. So let's use Azrai. Mid range non elemental combo attacks. Press it rapidly to unleash a series of charges. Right on. So it's like a combo attack, but it's long range. It's actually really good. <laughs> uh, especially if you want to keep your distance from demons like this. The only downside is you actually have to be targeting something, because otherwise you're probably going to miss every attack. <laughs> Hey, you stabbed right out of the air! Pro? Pro fish. Yeah, see, that's a cool battle song. But, uh... I really like this place. It's funny, because in real life, I'm terrified of the ocean. Just, just so much scary stuff. <laughs> the waves can carry you out, sharks can nip your legs off. You can step on seashells and hurt your tooties. It's just like, hazardopia, man. But for some reason in video games, I really love ocean, ocean floor type things. Just so cool looking. Ah. Oh yeah. Pyo pyo. <gasps> it's a little poochie. Oh, that's that little dog that's hard to catch. All right, so they said the way to get it is to trap it somehow. The only real trap I have is the sticky goo impet. So far? Yeah, bond trap attacks. I think that's the only one I have. So this is gonna be interesting. Come at me, pooch! Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Entices surrounding enemies with cute motions. That's awesome. <laughs> it's like a little poochie. Hey. Watch it with them weird crab claw tridents. I don't need that. I don't need that. You know, this game actually has a lot in common with Alice Madness Returns. It's just that dark, gritty take on all these different kinds of environments and stuff. Because there, there was an undersea level in that game, too. And actually, the next realm we go to is something straight out of Alice Madness Returns. <laughs> uh, oh, I already have... Bam! Sweet! Okay, uh... I don't think I need to go... this way yet, so I'm not going to. Hello, hello? What is that big old flame butt looking fish doing here? Uh. Hey. Rude. Oh god, it's coming right for me. It is coming right for me! Oh, it's got an electro butt. I guess that makes sense. 
hobbledy. Ah, oh my god. If you suffer an abnormal state, rotate the left stick to hasten recovery. Oh, is that how you do it? I don't think I got that message the last time I was practicing this part. <laughs> it's good to know. Dude! Don't cross the streams! These things are really OP because of how fast they turn. Oh my god. There you go. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Hey, Hobbledy. Oosh! It's so funny seeing, like, this heavy artillery hit these creatures. <laughs> oh, man. Peter, please! Uh-oh. No chain stun, please. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Oh, there's so many. So many of these. Woo. These are a little intense. Just a bit. Moving very fast. Didn't even get a heal, but I got an aqua liquid. That's nice. And I got a hobbledy. And oh yeah, I, did, I didn't even try to use this thing. Okay. So the hobbledy is one of these. Cool. And the little poochie's like, look at me, I'm adorable. Oh, it's singing, and look at it go. <laughs> and that puts things around it to sleep. So that's actually... Uh, really useful. Really useful creature. I need health. I'm scared. Oh, God. See that thing over there? That's all that's standing between me and a save point, but that thing is kind of brutal. Uh. Alright. <laughs> Cross your fingers and hope not to die. Fraxinus! Just be real careful. Oh god. It's so agile. Aerodynamic. Uh. Ouchie. Oh good. He killed my creature instead of hurting me. <laughs> um Ah. Oh no! Okay, gotta play it safe here. Woo, gotta play it safe! Play it safe, please. Come at me, bro. I don't even know where you are anymore. <laughs> Play ring around the coral.
dude! Oh my god. Alright. It's enough shenanigans. I could have sworn these went farther. Maybe I have to level it up. I'm probably gonna die. Actually, I could just... Oh no. I thought I could run through, but... <laughs> I actually have to defeat it. Oh my god! Hey, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's use, uh... Someone with a bit more long-rangeness. How about Bullseye? And maybe Gargantua? Ah, they seem to work. Right on! Alright, this one we have to balance it. It's kind of weird. Keep it upright. Okay. Ooh, man, that was close. We got Fraxinus. And some purple dust. Alright. So Fraxinus is a lot like Ogma. They even look the same, but Fraxinus shoots beams. So it's like a straight up upgrade. Awesome. Wow, look at that undersea fortress thing over there. It's so cool. Such a cool... This is probably my favorite realm so far. That I've seen. Oh, thank you. Save time. Alrighty, Bell. Let's see what we got going on on this side. Hey, oh. There's a fork in the road this way. Which way will you go? I don't know. You've seen those folks that look like dogs, haven't you? Well, they are very tidy things. When I see them tending to their scales, it makes me want to lick the daylights out of them. Uh, what? <laughs> You are odd. Oh my god, that's very strange. There are giant fish in the undersea city that attack with powerful spurts of water. That ability is likely to come in handy in other realms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Path ahead splits with forks to the Forgotten Palace and to the Swamp of Oblivion. Beware, for both paths are equally treacherous. Y yikes. The first door leads to the Forgotten Palace. The Forgotten Palace is a splendid place. The hole at the rear leads to the Swamp of Oblivion. It is a fearsome place. But they're both equally treacherous. Splendid and fearsome. Oh man, Fairy Lord and Levain. Just fight. Fight right now. Ellen, you have come. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, man. This should be good. See, Keats? Yes, I agree. This should be good. <laughs> Levain. You were a curse upon the netherworld. Up to your old tricks again. How many messengers have died this way? What? Silence! It is all for the netherworld. Keats, why? Looks like there are two sides to this conflict. By the way, Ellen, about that boy Herv. Herv? He's headed for the Swamp of Oblivion. The Swamp? You can forget about the boy. The swamp is a pit of gurgling nothingness. He who enters shall slip from existence and be forgotten by all. Uh... Oh man. That's scary. <laughs> She's right. But... Ellen, do not listen to him. The Lord 
the Lord or the boy, the netherworld or reality, those are awfully difficult choices. But choices she must make. I choose reality. Ellen, pray tell your wish. Oh man, so whatever we pick, Keats is going to do the other one. So I, I think we should try to save Herve. <laughs> Yeah. Save him from his forgotten fate. I must I must save Herve. Keats, thank you for telling me. I'll go after Herve. There he goes. I need to find Herve. He's at the swap of oblivion. I have to hurry. I have to hurry? Scarecrow, shouldn't you accompany the fairy lord? <laughs> nah, I'm no fairy. And I don't really like his royal attitude anyway. More importantly, Ellen, you must go. The Swamp of Oblivion is this way. Okay. So yeah, that's where we're gonna go. Down here. Uh... How long we have waited for a messenger like you who could defeat the folklore. Thank goodness our prayers were finally answered. Mm-hmm. Hey, no problem, man. Yeah. This is where we're going. Creepy. Swamp of Oblivion. Looks way different than up here. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I want to go back and check that one room we missed. I think there's another uh, folk in there we can get. Hey, Fraxinus, just leave me alone. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry that, uh, my buddy, uh, Ryo, Ryosuke Endo keeps popping up in the corner there. <laughs> I'll try to remember to turn that off next time. Oh. Oh, you guys are immune when you're in your ground state. Oh, maybe not. Look, I even stunned it. <laughs> nice. I didn't make that. Drake spews gluey mucus to immobilize enemies. So that's basically the same gooey sap stuff that the impet has. It'll make catching those dog things a lot easier. Yeah. So you can just spew it right in front of you instead of having to rely on a trap. <laughs> These things are so ridiculous. Bam! Alright, and this door just leads back to a room we've already been to. So. Mainly just came back here to get those new ones, but uh, let's try to clear it anyway. I don't even have something that can break blue crystals. <laughs> oh yeah, I do. That's right. I have Henky! Uh, ha, 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 ha. Ha 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 Bam! Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. Surprisingly not even 
doing that much damage. That's very weird. Whoops. Oh my god, I keep forgetting. It's so weird to aim. There we go. I knocked him over. I forgot you could do that. Sweet. So yeah, if you like attack him in the face, you can knock him over. I think. Oh no! Sticky sap goop! Or mucus, whatever it is. All the little Nemos. I found you. I found all all of you. All your clones. Yep. Every single one. Uh. Okay. Well. I guess that's it. <laughs> I think. Yeah. No item for defeating everyone? Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Sweet. Better be awesome. Oh, wow. That's pretty awesome, actually. Uh, lightning butt laser is good against... Creepy giant ball-shaped fish. I'd imagine a lightning butt would be good against pretty much any kind of fish, but there you go. Okay, well, uh, I guess that's a good stopping point. I don't remember when I started this part, but it's probably pretty close to 30 minutes at this point, <laughs> actually. So yeah, next time we'll start heading into the, uh, oh, nope, nope, start heading into the Swamp of Oblivion, um, yeah, actually one of the side quests I can do right now, I think I can do it right now, will, uh, give us the Undersea Cloak, or whatever it's called, and actually it's a really cool looking cloak, so. I might do that also, if I have time. I don't know, I feel like the Swamp of uh, Forgetfulness, or of Oblivion, is kind of uh, intense. <laughs> if I remember right, there's a lot of really intense enemies in there, so I'm not sure how long it's going to take. <sighs> but anyway, yeah, we'll save that for next time. So, see you guys later. Bye-bye.